hello everyone and welcome back to the physics radio channel uh, today we will see that how we can uh, uh, index the fluoroscite crystal uh, with the Miller indices for that we need uh, the XRD data in this case uh, we have prepared a sample of the fluoroscite crystal on the uh, on the glass substrate here this these are the this column is actually correspond to the angle and these are the peaks and we'll say we draw this and for the sake of simplicity I will just uh, take some visible uh, peaks so that we can understand uh, like uh, for example over here we are going to take just few peaks okay like here I will take the scale uh, maybe 8 to 40 let's say okay and for the vertical let's say okay maybe like this minus 150 okay apply it and okay now we will uh, okay make it a little bit bold so that we can see it okay now we will go to analyzer and peak uh, baseline then multiple peak fit and open the dialog then we should uh, notice this one then what is the function over here because we have a lot of functions so we should select the gauss function or here okay then we should uh, uh, double click on each uh, peak like this like this okay i will just take few peaks like this one like this okay uh, definitely in your research article you have to take all the peaks uh, which are as maybe like here it is a, a corresponds to a lidoidite so we should take care of that as well however this is just uh, for the sake of example now we should take uh, we should go on the open head okay now we should click on the fit until converged okay uh, it says that fit converge okay so the calculation are okay and then we should click on done it will pop up some windows which will give us the angles correspond to this axis along x-axis and also the full width uh, at maximum at uh, maximum height like this okay wait okay like this so here scroll down and we will see our data okay here this one this is a column one column two column three column four values these correspond to the angle of our sample so control c and we will compare this with our uh, standard proskite sample which is cubic in this case and this is the index and these are the degrees over here so i'll just put uh, the data which I copy from the origin sorry didn't copy it I should copy control C and control V I should make it uh, a little bold okay now this is wrong what happened over here okay like this Copy and here. Oh. 
control V. How much they are? I think uh, seven. Okay. Up to this one, I think is okay. Okay. Now we should uh, go to our origin window and leave it on its place. Okay. Go to the graph. Remove this one. Delete. Okay. And to delete this also, we don't need this. All the things. Okay, like here. Okay, now. Now over here, if we can see, this is the first peak. This is the second, third, fourth, fifth, five, and six. So we should check our data. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. I think so. We have seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we have seven peaks over here. So uh, here we will have we will add the indices from this as you can see or have the 13th one okay i'll make it bold so we can see it clearly okay okay now i think we can see it right now over here this is the standard sample and over here we prepared this uh, thin film on the glass substrate so 13.8449 correspond to 100 miller indices so this is actually uh, 100 the second one correspond to 24 this is 200 over here if we can compare 26 uh, correspond to uh, 210 and uh, this is 28 28 is actually 211 and 31 is around the 220 and 33 is actually 221 and 37 is actually 300 and we can also take the full wave at, uh, high, uh, at high maxima or let's say uh, if we can take this over here let me check it out okay here open the box in the same uh, table we can see over here okay over here we have this data of the sample and control V make it a little bit larger and more so we can we can see the values uh, however we will make a video on this in coming videos uh, however we need to know about the uh, Miller indices so now uh, in each value we should give this thing okay right here okay we don't need this anymore so we should delete this okay delete yes delete this one okay Okay, simply we have this figure now we should index each uh, peak like here this is uh, actually one zero zero so okay one zero zero make it bold 
Let's see, turn on it. Okay, go to the property and rotate this uh, on 90. Okay, this is number one. It's okay. Control C, Control V, and give the second one. The value is the second one is actually two zero zero. So we will make it two. Control V. We will have the third one. The third one is actually over here in this table. This is two one zero. Okay. Two one zero. Okay, two one zero. Similarly, the other one, and so on. Two one one. Okay. Two one one. This. Okay, this peak a peak uh, correspond to the two one one plan, and then we have uh, the fifth one two two zero two two zero okay over here two two zero control v the next one correspond to two two one okay two Two one and the last one we correspond to the Miller and this is three zero zero. So we just need to place three. So actually, this is all about the uh, the Miller indices. In this way, we can index all the peaks of the pulse cat, and this is actually the cubic uh, structure or oh, we have different uh, crystal structure like for example we have tahedral we have a thrombic and in this case this is actually a perskite and this is uh, the cubic structure okay And after that, you can play around and make things uh, good for your research paper. Uh, for example, if I want to make it a little bit better, so uh, let's say I want to make it like this line tick, okay, on the bottom top. Okay, include none, none, and on the right, we should also include a line, and you can make it according to your research paper. If you want it more accurate, so make it a little bit bold for your research. And let's say this three, three. Three and so on. Okay, I'll just uh, make it a little bit more. Okay, twenty. Let's say bold and twenty. Okay, this uh, x is y x is correspond to the uh, intensity actually intensity of the peak, and that is in uh, arbitrary unit. Okay. Similarly, over here, make it bold. Twenty four, and this is actually two. Oh, sorry, two theta. So we should go right click on it and go to the sem symbol theta insert and close. Okay. 
and this is actually in degrees okay or you can say only like this okay no problem this is okay perfect okay so this was all about the uh, perovskite cubic structure and how we can uh, compare it with the standard uh, uh, standard index of the um, perovskite sample so this is uh, the way we can do it and we can analyze uh, which planes we have and which structure we have in our sample uh, thank you so much for watching this was a little bit long uh, video but uh, i hope it will help uh, the new researcher and the beginners in this field so please subscribe and share comments uh, my channel 